Well, Mark, Sol for City away tomorrow. Have you had a good week this week in trading? Yeah, we've had a very positive week. Uh, we're quite fortunate here. We've we've got 4G and stuff, so we're able to get out on the uh, outside and get uh, get our training done because obviously the weather's been pretty bad, etc. So uh, we've we've had a good week in terms of that, and we've also had an opportunity to go and watch another uh, League Two opposition, which we'll have in a few weeks. So uh, it's been positive all around, Bob. In terms of the players, we had um, a few new players come in in January. Um, how are they integrating into I think the team? It's funny actually, so we have had new players coming in, but for the whole group, they've had a whole new process mm. in terms of new manager, new assistant, etc. etc. So um, it's been an integration and an understanding for everybody of new ideas and philosophies, etc. Um, so from that, point of view it's not been too difficult for the for the new lads coming in because they're kind of starting afresh with the re with the rest of the group and um, but we're really happy in how things have gone how them players have come in especially when you look at somebody like harry uh, hamlin who's, who's probably moved away from home from the first time and uh, has left an academy environment and has come into like um, the EFL Shiloh as well, like an eye opener for him. Donovan was living in Spain, playing in Spain, and he's come back. He's not come back to his family, etc. So, yeah, we've had new experiences, but um, it's, I would say the transition has been really smooth. As a team, are you happy with how they've evolved since you came into the club? Which is 10 games ago now, isn't it? Yeah, no, I'm really happy because I, I keep going back to where we were when we came in and where we are now, especially, and I don't like. Be careful what I say here because we've spoken about playing a lot of the top top seven teams or the top ten clubs. But when we play the teams in the bottom half of the table, I'm not expecting easier games. I'm not expecting us to all of a sudden go and start winning three or four nil. Um, obviously, the difference between the top and the bottom will be decision-making and consistency all around. So I'm expecting really, really tough games. Um, but where we were and where we started and the teams we had to play against to begin with, I think the lads have deserve an extraordinary amount of credit for where they are today. They've extended the lead on the team who's bottom of the league, etc. And uh, I've clearly seen progress if we look at our stats and figures from the games going forward, certainly since we changed the system as well. Uh, there's been a huge um, emphasis on being more effective in the final tour and we've seen that in terms of um, more shots, shots on goal, final tour entries, crosses, etc., etc. Success of crosses, etc., etc. Mm. It's uh, the finishing touch is putting the ball in the back of the net, but we're working on it. When you first came in, you just say it would be a work in progress. But do you feel that this team is more your team now in terms of your your stamp and your philosophy within it? Um, yes and no. The reason I say yes because we've implemented clear ideas and they're pretty evident from how I look at it. Um, the structure of the team, I'm not saying it's better than what it was, not at all. What I'm saying is the structure of the team I really see in myself and what I'm trying to do. The reason I say no is because it's very difficult to come into a team in the middle of a season, um, probably the, the start of the second, it's over halfway point to start implementing ideas and build up play and playing through midfield, etc. etc. Then recognising what the strengths and the weaknesses of the, the, the other clubs are, then recognising the strengths and weaknesses of the surfaces we're playing on. Um, how I want to play football and how I see football is not particularly conducive to our pitch. Um, but it might be when we play so and so away from home, etc. etc. So, um, as much as I've wanted to implement A, B, C, and D, some of it's not actually possible um, for now. And the most important thing for us is, is staying in the league by hook or by crook. Uh, but we want to do it with a particular style and with a structure and a philosophy. And we're working hard towards that, and I think that's evident in, in what we're doing. Let's have a look at tomorrow's game now. Mm -hmm. uh, Salford City, they obviously came up from the National League via the playoffs last year. How would you rate their first season? In, I think it's been league? outstanding. I think they, if you look at I think if they had five promotions in seven years or something like yeah. that. Um, I don't, for me, I don't get involved in the finances and stuff like that, which everybody has a moan about. Give them some credit, congratulate them on the work they've done, the people behind the scenes. Um, you know, they've, they've done exceptional. I think Graham's done a fantastic job there. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what his remit or his plan was, but from the outside looking in, I think they're having a fantastic season.
And in terms of form, I believe that they are top of the form guide in terms of away teams. I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> Bob, you don't have to tell me that. I know that. Um, look, they're a very good side, um, very good manager. We all know, it's pretty obvious, they've got an incredibly strong squad. So uh, when you look at, in terms of uh, changing players, changing mm -hmm. things, bringing subs on, uh, they're going to be one of the strongest in, 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 in the league, potentially. So... Um, I'm glad you didn't ask it to me in my opening question because my answer is the same. It's going to be a really tough game, but I'm delighted to have the opportunity to play such a good club at home. They'll bring a load of fans. We'll have a few extra on the day. So it's certainly one of the games on the calendar at the start of the season that you, you pick out and go, that, that'll be one for everybody. Brilliant. Wish you the best of luck, Mark. Thanks, Bob.